Uh, because they obviously love you, the fans. They're very, very special. And I love them. And, yeah. They're, 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 and that bond you have seems really genuine. But is there a reason why they do this? They film themselves watching your videos. They, yeah, they're awesome. They started a radio station called Radio Art Pop now. You must have you come across Mr. Motormouth before? I think I know which one you're. This, yeah, is, the guy, this is the guy. This is This is the first time he watched uh, applause. Here's oh, I think. Oh, I do. Yes, I do. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, this bitch is flying. <laughs> oh, yes, bitch. <laughs> yes, yeah, turn around like that, this is a bitch. <laughs> she probably like the yellow wig, bitch. He's a fan. It's... <laughs> well, get this. We thought if he was that excited to watch a video of you, how excited... No, he's not here. Uh... <laughs> how excited would it be if we Skyped him? Right? Yeah, amazing. So I'll just Skype him now. Skyping. <gasps> there he is. <laughs> okay, so, hang on. Is that me? Can you see me? Hello? Hi, Graham. How are you, Dwight? I'm very good. <laughs> What's your name? Are you Zachary? It's Zachary? Yeah, your hair is amazing. Thank you, Dwarf. I know a bitch has a slave on me, <laughs> Okay, so brace yourself, Zachary. Brace yourself, Zachary, because I'm, I'm moving the camera. I'm moving the camera. Zachary, here huh? is Lady Gaga. <laughs> you see her? Bitch, you ain't that. <laughs> you know, you're so, you're, you're so famous right now. You have no idea. You're all over. You can't tell oh, Where are you? There you are. There you are. There. And is there any little a cappella bit from the new album? Could you do something for him? A little line or something to blow his mind? Sure. Uh, uh, uh. I can't help the way I'm feeling. Uh. God, it's so lovely. Take me to your leader. We'll send you a tape, Zachary. We'll send you a tape. Thank you so I much for Skyping us. I love you, Zachary. Us. I love you. I love you. I, wa I, I watch love you all you the too, time. I, I love you, baby. In our pop, you look so pure and happy, and I'm so proud of you, baby. I'm so proud of you. Well, thank Aww. you. Bye-bye, Zachary. You love me, man. Bye-bye. What a nice man. <laughs> no, you're a nice man. I'll tell you why. Because you're giving them a voice, and that's what it, this is all about for me. You just gave him, you gave him his moment. Thank you. Moment. He earned his moment. He did. Now, yeah, but that was so cool. Talking of fans of Lady Gaga, there is another one in the building. Yes, since 1985, this lady has been a part of everyone's family as EastEnders Dot Cotton. Please welcome the unique June Brown! <laughs> That's Jude Law. Uh -huh. There's that. Oh my God! Why does she have her purse with her? I can't. And that's Greg Davis. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh my God! She has a purse and an e-cigarette. It's too fabulous. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, Sit Sit down. down. Sit down. There you go. You look so I amazing. Show my legs. Leg. Oh, that's bad, isn't it? <laughs> well, I thought I had to outdo her. You see. <laughs> June, do you want to take your coat off? Oh. Do yes. take your coat off. Stay away. Yes, stay away. <laughs> stay away. Take your coat off. There you go. Lovely. Gorgeous. Uh, yeah. We'll take you there. We'll take you there. Now. Yeah. Oh. Uh, now, June Brown. Oh, I'm exhausted already. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's the thing. Uh, yes. Now, are you familiar, Lady Gaga, with the EastEnders? No, don't say yes, darling. If you're not, you're not, and I don't blame you. <laughs> 
I am. And yes. I actually am a very big fan of yours. Aww. I just don't watch a lot of television. No, I don't watch any. <laughs> But you're, you are you are so fabulously dressed, and I'm I'm, I'm very honored to be seated next well, to you. Well, you see, I had to do it because I have a friend. I'm staying with a couple of boys tonight. Oh yes. And he are they said, straight again? Oh, he loves you. No. Uh, uh, yeah. No. What do you ask me first? <laughs> I understood that. She speaks my language. <laughs> yes. So, oh, you have to avoid things sometimes, don't you, darling? Yeah. You yes, have to be so. very good at getting around questions that you don't Discretion. want to answer. Oh, I understand. There'll be easy okay. questions. Do, shall I take your chair? It, no. <laughs> no. 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 Grand there. It is the double Oscar-winning screen legend mm. that is Mr. Michael <laughs> Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> Who set the lineup on this show? <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. How about having the Alta Cocker out here first? <laughs> you know, you know how easy it was. <laughs> you were flying in from Cannes. Do you all know each other? Again, do you all know each other? Because you're all from Hollywood. We met. We're, this is my birthday, brother. Same birthday, September oh, wow. 25th. We got oh. the same birthday. Not yeah. only that, but I made his career. <laughs> So he made his first movie, which I produced That's after right. Fresh Prince, yeah. Made in America, yeah. which was so bad. Well, but no. You were good. <laughs> it was only up to awesome. there. Jane, how are you, man? Hey, nice to see you. Nice to see you. And Brad, I've had the pleasure of uh, getting to know a little bit. Yeah. And I got another movie coming out later this year, which is, it's the movie's called Last Vegas. And if, when you see Hangover in 19, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bradley Cooper. <laughs> Hey, listen, before we talk anymore, I just have to gush a bit. Uh, behind the Candelabra, the Liberace movie you drink, mm. you are so good in it. And I mean, the, I, you know, the reviews have come out and it's amazing. But it's like, we've seen you being very, very good. You've won Oscars. You, we know you're good. We've seen you do extreme emotion. But this is a transformation thing. Like, I know it. Did you know you could do this? Um. No. <laughs> No, but it, no, it's a great part. You know, I was very fortunate and uh, really fortunate because I was looking for something. You know, I had cancer for a couple of years, and uh, this project first came to me. Steve Soderbergh, our director, we did a picture called Traffic, uh, which was yeah, a, yeah. a series here in, in 2000. And when we were shooting that, I was really scared. Because that movie I played like, a, you know, drug czar and all of that. Mm -hmm. And one day, Steven's looking at me and he goes, Have you ever thought about Liberace? Wow. <laughs> I think about him all the time. I, I, I think maybe I'm mincing too much or something. <laughs> yeah. And so I said, no, I hadn't, you know, but I made a joke. And anyway, years later, he found this book behind the candelabra and developed into a screenplay. And then, God bless him, they, um, they, they waited for me and Matt Damon's uh, my co-star. And great. I mean, what a cast and to have him behind him. Graham, room. it's incredible. Has anybody told you you look a little bit like Matt Damon? <laughs> they, they really haven't, and Matt Damon's lawyers are on the phone now. <laughs> <laughs> That's very kind of you. Yeah, right. I'll go home and I'll lie like down that. now. <laughs> um, and before we talk him, David Getter. <laughs> No, this is Oh, that's really David. Funny. Okay. We're both too old to wear these jeans. You know that. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> You're very you're you took for yourself. I'm very young. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, no, no, no. I want to say something. Oh, yes. I'm French, you know, and I yeah. was behind watching the show. You all are, like, so intelligent and funny. And I was <laughs> understanding only half of the, the words and 10% of the jokes. So I'm really terrified now. Oh! oh. So, oh. I'm 
I'm going to try my Excusez best. Excusez-moi, mais nous ne parlons pas français. Oh. 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 Now, I'm very pleased to see you here. Why are there so many rumors that you're dead? Yes, um, that's usually happening in the, um, in the summer when I tour a lot. I don't know why. It's like a Kenny in South Park, you know? Yeah, it, it, yes, that's me. No, that's me on a, no, on a summer it, tour. I died. Three it, times, I think. <laughs> so you do this. If, yes, if, and even, even uh, they even show my car accident. That was kind of. Um... The, the, the first thing, <laughs> David was a dead. Is the first thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. That's Isn't terrible. That, that's nuts. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because you're so not. So many people love me. That's why. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why some people want me dead. I they know nobody nice wants guy. you dead. Nobody wants you dead. But it's weird how rumors, rumors start. Because I know, Joanna, you've had some strange rumors. Oh, you too? Oh, when um, my, my husband proposed to me and the engagement ring was in um, a little pouch around my dog's neck. But I read somewhere that they said that the engagement ring was in my dog's mouth. And she was so talented that she could hold it there and I could prise her mouth open and take the ring out of her mouth and that's where my engagement ring was. <laughs> you see, it's happening again. Everybody's laughing, I don't know why, because I don't understand what you're saying. Oh! Oh, you didn't understand either. Nobody understood that story. <laughs> you're just being polite. You're just smiling and okay, nodding. Okay, okay, I'm going to say Just smiling and nodding. <laughs> what's, what's, that, what's this accent? It's Welsh. Okay. <laughs> Well, listen, we wondered how much our audience concentrated when presented with an ample distraction. Uh -huh. So uh, what we did, we've tried a little experiment. You'll love this, men. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know if you remember, can we get a shot of this lady in the front row, Nikki, here. Nikki in the front row, there's Nikki. Now, Nikki, she was the girl asking questions when you came in. Do you remember her? Okay. Now, uh, not now, obviously, Nikki has a wonderful cleavage. But Nikki also has a wonderful camera down there. So hang on one second. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. You'll see it now. Hang on. So, is that it? Oh, no, is that it? Oh, that. Oh, that. Oh, there I am. Hello. Hello. See? No, it's real. Look in there. Go on, have a look. Go on, have a look. Go on, have a look. Oh, it's a girl on girl action. Very good. Okay. So. So. You're right, Nikki. You enjoyed that, didn't you? Uh -huh. oh, all right. So what we've done, we, we've just got a, a couple. We don't have time for many, but just a couple of, of guys on the way in, uh -huh. with, just to see how men right, react yeah. uh -huh. when trying to talk to Nikki eye to eye. Okay. okay? <laughs> so here we go. Here we go. Uh, oh, now who's that? Quick, shout your name. What's your name? Daniel. Daniel. Okay, it's Daniel. Okay. Here is Daniel. I have to say. Daniel did very, very well. Watch closely. Watch closely on Daniel. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, he had one look. One look. Now, I'm looking around. I don't want to look. I mustn't look again. I mustn't look again. Oh, one more look. Mustn't look again. Mustn't look again. Oh, little look. Oh, very good. Oh, no. oh one last look. Very good. Okay. <laughs> okay, quickly. We've tried time for one more, I think. Hang on. Where is he? Okay. Now, do you recognize yourself there? <laughs> Where, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Right there. You there? You there? Quick, quick, quick. I must know you. We must know this man's name. What's your name? Russ. What? Russ. 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 I'm here to tell you, Miss Carey. Uh huh. Stay away from Russ. Okay. Russ has no shame. Here is, here is, here is, this is, wait, here is Russ chatting to Nikki. Here we go. Where do you see this? And he can't resist anymore. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Russ. Well done, all of you to come. Thank God. Now, uh, quite a diverse group tonight because we've got uh, John from Liverpool, uh, Cheryl from Newcastle, Brendan from Dublin coming on later. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what I'd really like to say to John Johnson is, good luck with that. <laughs> Have you been attempting to talk backstage? 
Um, just the bare minimum. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you make out what they're saying? Uh, more or less, so far so good. Okay, yeah. good. That's you good. understood the bum tattoo pretty well. Yes. <laughs> it's hard to That's miss. No problem understanding yeah, that. It's not like a lucky shamrock, is yeah. it? It's like <laughs> oh, that sound. I told her that I was promised a viewing to come and do the show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, he's had one. <laughs> I saved you the trouble, Sheriff. I know, I know a sweetheart. <laughs> and uh, Don Johnson, we're very pleased to have him here, but also we're very pleased we've got the right Don Johnson. Oh, yeah. There are loads of them, aren't there? Tons. There's probably uh, 50 outside the studio now. <laughs> Waiting to get in. Yeah, exactly. Luckily, you were first in the queue. I had, a, uh, I had a, uh, an interesting experience uh, one time. Uh, an African American fella came up to me and he goes, um, Guess what? My name is Don Johnson. And I went, oh, that's great, good. <laughs> he says, no, 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 for real. And he reaches in his pocket and he pulls out his driver's license and sure enough, it says on there, Don Johnson. And I said, um, that's great. Um, how does that work for you? And he says, oh my God. He says, I get restaurant reservations. I get <laughs> sporting events. I get theater tickets. Oh, it's fantastic. And I, and I said to him, I said, well, what happens when you show up? <laughs> He said, well, I just tell him I look a lot different on TV. <laughs> <laughs> but in terms, in terms of doppelgangers, do you met a... I've seen this picture, it's incredible. Where was this guy? This was in, uh, in Dubai. I went over to do... I know. I went over to Dubai to do a, do a gig and the radio station said, we've got somebody who looks like you, but we don't want to bring him in. It'll be awkward, it'll be embarrassing. <laughs> so I was, I, I was expecting, like, yeah. you know, a black guy or a, a, <laughs> a black dwarf or something to go <laughs> And then this, he walked in, he looked more like me than I do. <laughs> I, you know what was great Is about... Is you on the right? That's me on the right, yeah. Okay. The, the, the older looker of the two. <laughs> <laughs> but what was great is that he said the same thing in Dubai. He's, he's used it to get restaurants. But he's also, he said, I've pulled girls. <laughs> he said, I've pulled girls saying that I'm you, which I've just gone, that is fantastic, because now, <laughs> if I ever have an affair, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just him. <laughs> Cheryl Cole, you've been away. It seems yeah. like you've been away, but now you're back with a vengeance, young lady. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because the new song, Crazy Stupid Love, it's yeah. been played all over the radio now, but it's been released properly on the 20th of July. Right, yeah. And this one is You and Tiny Temper. It is. But this is from the new album. Yes. Now, when's that out? The album's actually not out till later in the year. Later in the year? Late November time. Late November. I want to have a couple of singles out and get oh, me right. feedback yeah. into it. And what's it called, the album? The album is called Only Human. <laughs> Only Human? <laughs> <laughs> okay, were well, you hypnotised and that's the key word or something? <laughs> <laughs> when she says Only Human, you will scream. <laughs> <laughs> why Only Human? Because... I actually had a long time off. Um, the last time I was on, I did a tour just after the last time I was on here, alone, and then I went straight in and did a tour with Girls Aloud after the 10-year reunion. And then I just was exhausted and I seriously needed... I hadn't had time off in 10 years. Wow. So, yeah, so I literally said, look, I need a year to myself just to remember normal stuff, spend time with the family. I've got a poorly dog, you know, I just wanted to spend some normal time. And I went through a lot of stuff. The album's got a lot of stuff on there. And, um, yeah, Only Human was most fitting for what the album stands for. OK. In America, we call that rehab. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, Crazy Stupid Love, you've probably heard it on the radio, but uh, here's a little taster from the video.
dancing, you suddenly realise how big that tattoo is. Have you yeah. added to it? Is that the same size? It is from mid-back all the way down. Well, that, oh, there it is again. Uh, <laughs> Tom Johnson <Funny> noticed. <laughs> <laughs> and was it always going to be that big, or was that always the plan, or did it just spread? You know what's funny? After... <laughs> <laughs> He like, made a mistake. <laughs> yeah. And then it just, just yeah, kept, yeah. kept going. Is it like one of them, you look in the mirror and they go, does my ass look big in this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> no, after I, I, actually, after I got sick, I had, um, after I got malaria, I wrote a, you call it bucket list, I call it a fuck it list. And I just wanted to do everything I wanted to do. And, you know, life's short. And, yeah. and I changed my perspective and I always wanted a big tattoo. Is that a bit of the tattoo I can see there? So this is a different one. Well, that's a different tattoo. Okay. Oh, oh no, I just want... Because it... <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault. It's right there. <laughs> and, and this is a vulgar question, but I will ask it. Okay. No, it's not that vulgar. Okay. But three, three days it took to do it. Yes. yes. Three sessions. Three sessions. So how much did that cost? Well, the guy that did it is actually a... Um, Exceptional artist. Yes. Like he's not just a tattooist, he's an artist. He's a lucky bastard, that's <laughs> what he is. Advertising, uh, it's very regulated now, you know. But uh, at the time, Mad Men says it was a different world. Uh, people were less politically correct. And uh, these are some genuine examples of ads that, that were around then. Here's one Don't worry, darling, you didn't burn the beer. <laughs> Like, she should be pleased. I married an alcoholic. <laughs> uh, <then laughs> like, how... Do, could you kind of think, who does the shopping? You know, back then, it was, you know, the wife who went to the store to buy the stuff. And to advertise this, they used this. You mean a woman can open it? <laughs> All by herself. <laughs> Isn't that... Like, this, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna buy that. Oh, this product thinks I'm an idiot. <laughs> And it's ketchup. <laughs> it's, it's actually this is quite hard to open. Uh, it's not just the sentiment. Sometimes the uh, the phrasing of the slogans wouldn't really work nowadays. Blow in her face, and she'll follow you anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as true today as it was. <laughs> Uh, this is my favourite, though. This is for, and I don't know why it would be this, but it's an early morning laxative. And the ad goes, 6 a.m., you're feeling punk. 8 a.m., you're full of spunk. <laughs> <laughs> what, what a busy two hours they were. <laughs> well done, all the ads. Very good. Omar Mueller. Omar. Omar is the trainer of Algi, the owner of the trainer of Algi. Hi, Algi. Hi. 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 How are you? Oh, you're so good. Very good. <laughs> now, he's brilliant in the film. Thank you. He can do, he can do lots of things. And, uh, by the way, I hope you didn't find that too upsetting, Gerard. It didn't bring it back, the surfing, did it? <laughs> <laughs> It didn't bring you no, to an unhappy actually, place. It was actually quite therapeutic. <laughs> <laughs> There's a brilliant bit in the, in the movie. Can, is, the, is that the... the oh, the, when he said, yeah. When yeah, you want to see him? Can, can the, can yeah, sure, sure. So the guns go bang. OK. Ready, Augie? Come here. Get over here. Augie, up. Walk, walk. Walk, walk. <laughs> bang. <laughs> I have an idea. Since he can do the skateboarding thing mm -hmm. and he can do falling, yes. could you maybe it would help Gerard through his <laughs> through his through his traumatic memory of the surfing accident. Yes, yes, yes. If if he Uggy can, could relive it for him. Yeah, he can he can uh, he can board, he can water speak and do just about all that oh, stuff. Oh fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Um Uggy darling, okay, oh. thank you for oh, oh. Thank <laughs> you.
Thank you very much, sir. Pleasure. We'll, we'll see very you good. later for the surfing. Okay, Ladies and gentlemen, Oki okay. and Omar. Okay. Bye. It's almost time for music, but uh, first, I believe Ugly the Dog is ready backstage to help Gerard come to terms <laughs> with his surfing trauma. Ugly, <laughs> um, are you there? Ugly? Oh, there's Ugly. Oh, look at his little board short. <laughs> but he's a better surfer than I am. <laughs> uh, right. And now, you look very nice, but I thought, you know, you're a Scot. I thought you might be sporting, you know, the kilt on the red carpet. No, no. Do you ever do the kilt? Oh, yeah, I've done the kilt. I've on done the, the kilt. red carpet? Not in the red carpet, no. I don't think oh, I you should do it. Yeah, maybe I should. A lot of people are going, yes, you have. <laughs> in Glasgow? Oh, I did! <laughs> these questions for me. <laughs> By the way, this, this lady here, I mean, basically, did you move to America? She's from Scotland, but, but just goes wherever, wherever I go to support. That, that lady there knows, the knows, <laughs> knows, the knows the answers <laughs> better than I do. So okay. if I'm saying anything wrong, you, you'll keep me in line. Uh, apparently yeah. she will, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Minutes what? into the show, yes, you have! <laughs> So I, maybe I, I wore a, 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 a kilt at my sister's wedding, though, in, in, in Paisley, Scotland, and I had to go up and do a reading. And, and my mother and the family were in the front row. And, of course, as you know, in Scotland, there's a certain rule to wearing the kilts. And, you know, I'm sitting like this. And then, look, everybody's kneeling forward, you know, at the podium. And my mum is, is looking at me, and she's doing this, and she's going... <laughs> I think that she's telling me to pray. <laughs> and then the whole congregation is watching me, so I'm like this, and I'm looking at her, and I'm like, and I go, <laughs> like this. And she's like, <laughs> and then I realize that everybody is staring right oh. up. Oh. So I'm like, and I'm like this, and I go, and I go. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I always forget that I've worn coats. It's always a disaster. Because yeah. uh, you're from Scotland as well. I am, yeah. So have you had a kilt experience? I'm still traumatised by something that happened to me um, the other day, actually. So I went to my cousin's wedding and I thought, I'm going to film the occasion and then give it to her as a Christmas present. <laughs> and then <laughs> I was going through all the material and somebody had obviously taken the camera. This wasn't me. Um, and it went all dark and I could see like something moving around. Um, and then I suddenly realised that it was an up kilt shot of my cousin. Oh. It was horrible. Did you leave it in or did you take it out? I, it's deleted. Oh, you, did you read it? Yeah, I could I don't want to look at that. DVD extras on the no, wedding. No, no. <laughs> Here's a <the> shot here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, no. <laughs> did you ever, were you always going to do this? Or did you, was there a bit of you Not thinking... even close. No, I was almost like the first guy to jump back in. Yeah. Yes. No, I, I mean, I, we had all hit the jackpot in so mm -hmm. many ways. I mean, these, and, and Ed Helms and Zach and Heather and everybody. And we had Melissa McCarthy's in this one and John Goodman. She's so good at, she's yeah. that scene as a yeah. But isn't Bradley so manly in this one, right? He gets to, like, break through a brick wall with, like, a hammer. Oh, He's, like, awesome. breaking down the wall. It looked really yeah. impressive. It looked like you've been practicing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but actually, in Silver Linings, you do a... Did, you, you did, did I break a wall in Silver Linings? No, you didn't. Did you chop it? That's my something? thing. Yeah, you yeah. did something that... I, you in a plastic bag, I seem yeah, to remember. Did I, did you were wearing I, your plastic bag. Yeah, and, right. were you, I seem to remember, you Oh, I hit some guy at the tailgating. Were you swinging a bat or something? Swinging a bat. I don't know. <laughs> so, anyway, okay. this isn't great, <laughs> Chad. <laughs> Why do you stick to the question? Is there like a sneezing about? No. You can't no. be confusing your dreams with the movies. And you're like, Graham, Graham. <laughs> but two of you, you hadn't worked together before, no. had you? No. But I hear Anne, you were very, very excited to work with Matthew. I was excited to work yeah. with Matthew, yeah. yeah. I mean, who wouldn't be? He's amazing. Yeah. 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 What? I was excited to work with Anne. But Thank you. Tell the people why you were excited to work with Matthew. Well, I was. <laughs> there are a few reasons. I had been a fan for you know a while, like like many people, and uh, I remember sitting down with Chris, 
he, uh, to talk about the film. He said he'd written a new screenplay, and he told me the story, and I thought it sounded amazing. And I said, well, who, that, that lead role sounds unbelievable. Who are you going to cast in it? And he said, well, I've been thinking about Matthew McConaughey. And, you know, everybody flashback. This is in early 2013, so the reconnaissance hasn't happened yet. So uh, we haven't, you know, woken up to the genius of this man yet. <laughs> and, he, and he goes, oh, you, you think that's a, that's a good idea? Have you seen Mud? And I said, no, I've seen Magic Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and Chris goes, oh, yeah, well, most people who have seen Mud think that, you know, he's really, really <laughs> And I'm just like, Magic Mike. <laughs> Magic Mike is the performance. And um, Chris is like, oh, okay. and, and then he clearly wants to move the conversation along, and I will not shut up. <laughs> How much I love Matthew in that film. You're so good in that movie. Because, mm -hmm. yes, it's like it's hot and sexy and you thrust and stuff, but you also, I mean, it's just such an incredible character, and it's so deep, and he's scary, and he's funny, and he's, like, hot, but he's also so skeevy. And it's just, it's like, and I remember I walked out of the theater, and you know this, I walked out of the theater, and I turned to all my friends, because we all went to see it together, and I said, Matthew McConaughey's going to win an Oscar. And I knew it the second... I I saw you like pressed up in that a break dancing pose <laughs> since your leg. And the camera shooting up your Cobra Cod piece. <laughs> and your leg. I said that man is gonna win an Oscar. And I was right! Yeah. It's you know, it's easy for all of us to say, well, we knew you were gonna win it. But how did you feel on the night? I, I, had, I had no idea. But so everyone must be kind of blowing smoke up you and kind of going, you've got it in the back. No, 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 no. no. Um, I sat there and I remember they, 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 they started to say the names and music people came up, came up and I think I, I went through the names. If anyone, if any other name started with a m. <laughs> that's all I remember. Really and I went through when they did, and I, I think that's me. I look at my wife, it was, and I'm like, oh shit, here we go. And because there's a picture, it's an amazing picture of the moment you hear. And you do look That's like you... me going through... Does anyone else's name start with a m? <laughs> I love that picture. Yes. It's a great picture. And also, you know what else is really lovely about it? Because what are the chances of the two of you being here together? Look how happy Anne Hathaway is that you've won! <laughs> Because uh, you could have really been nice. scowling, and then this would be really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the creepiest thing about award shows, is that you never know when they're going to hit your face, and so you'll be just having a normal emotion, like a cramp, and <laughs> someone's going to think that you're unhappy for yeah. someone else's success. <laughs> they're trying to catch you. Yeah. You know the thing they do in Hollywood. They got that little trick in Hollywood that everybody you see, they always go, oh, so good to see you. Of course, it's and so that means, rude. that means that if they know you, they're good to see, it's happy to see you, but if they don't know you, they're only saying it's good to see bases. you. And they've got it covered either way. Oh, we see. So instead of kind of, it's nice to meet you. you say, yeah. In case you already know them. In case you already yeah. know them. It's so great to see you. So good to see you, man. <laughs> so good to see you, too. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> All good? <laughs> I'll see you. <laughs> Rihanna, ladies and gentlemen. Shut up a little bit. Just stop here. There you go. Hey, uh, oh, Rihanna, you? have you met Marilyn? Yes, yes we met upstairs. Hey, and Rihanna, Rihanna, have you, have you met you Nigella? Ella? 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 <laughs> you smell lovely. I've waited all night to say that. <laughs> Sorry. Now, <laughs> Why can't I sit in the middle? Hmm? You can chat later. You can chat later. No, I just want to sit in the middle. <laughs> I like girls. Get, yes. <laughs> Now, how are you, my dear? Good. And what are you going to be singing for us tonight? I uh, hit that I love you, my new single. Oh, it is a hit, isn't it? Thank and, you. And uh, I believe, do I, yes, I have it in here. And it, there's an album out at the moment as well. Yes, Good Girl Gone Bad. It's and you're on tour as well. Yes, I'm touring Europe and the UK. And right now we're in the UK. We just finished Europe. Oh, very, and where are you going to be next? Manchester. Good answer. <laughs> I don't know if it's true. <laughs> no, <laughs> me too. Usually Same I don't day. know. Usually I don't know, but we're shooting a DVD for Manchester, so... Me too. That's the only reason I know. Same day. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah. we're both going to be in Manchester the same day. That spells oh. trouble! <laughs> <laughs> I think Rihanna's team will be keeping her well away. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Marilyn, sad. <laughs> um, can I just say, you look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much. You really do. Thank you. Really, really, really. Hello, ladies. Hi, nice to see you. Hello, hello, hello. No, no. <laughs> show us. Um, I totally forgot to ask about this. But this is a cool down. Okay. This is kind of the end of the show. What happened to your microphone? Did it go away already? Um, it's right here. No, no, the, the fabulous microphone. Oh, I'm sorry. Do they take that already? Yeah, it's oh. coming back. Don't worry about it. Because <laughs> did you notice the blingy microphone? <laughs> yeah, I tell you. Oh, here it is. Thank you very much. Like the way that was just whipped off. The, they took one look at the audience, though. Don't leave her alone with it. <laughs> so talk us through it. It's real. Um, not real stones. But it's real gold, isn't it? No way. Is that just a piece of crap? Uh, <laughs> I always thought it was worth thousands of dollars. Well, it is. Oh, that's dollars, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it is, but <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> well, thank you, Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, so they sell me precious stones? No, they're not. Are they precious stones? They're made to look sparkly. Okay. <laughs> Were you really ripped off with this microphone? <laughs> no, you see, it doesn't make any sense paying that amount of money to get a microphone made when these stones will fall off, the mic drops, you know, oh, I always run around. Oh, okay. But it still stuff. looks beautiful. Thank you. What's a bad gal? Bad gal. <laughs> Which means that I'm a bad girl. Really? Yes. Mm. Uh, well, listen, do you mind sitting down for one second? Because I'm just going to do a thing. OK. Because, uh, sorry, excuse I. Excuse I, <laughs> we're off. Uh, now, because, uh, OK, you can sit beside. Do you mind sitting beside Marilyn? <clears throat> Not at all. This is very short, this bit. It's very short. Please. Marilyn, yes. focus. <laughs> I'm going to ask you a question now. Mm. Now, what the... Can you, you smell how lovely she is? She's yes. lovely. Smell, thank, yes. thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, um, <laughs> um, what was the thing about you? You had a mobile. Fo your mobile phone ring was you, or was it somebody shouting? What are you talking about? Uh, did, I, I, the, you'd, uh, you'd like you swearing on your cell phone. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But was it you shouting on your phone? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, are there any Marilyn Manson fans in who'd like that to be their ringtone? Yeah? Ooh, quite a One person! Oh, uh, no, no. No, there's no letter there, there. Have you got a phone with you? Yes. Have you got... Yes. Do, is it on? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yes, that was your... What, what's your name, lady? Alexia. What? Alexia. How old are you? I'm 18. 18, so you're old enough to have swear words on your phone. OK, come with me. <laughs> All right, come, 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 come. All right, up here. Now, um, OK. OK, now, so I'm going to put on this phone and then I'll send it to your phone, okay. OK? Later on, technically. You sit there. All right, be very careful. Don't steal anything or touch anything. <laughs> uh, OK, so what do I do? I go to menu. This could take ages. <laughs> uh, menu. I go over here to organizers and tools. I'm doing so well. Uh, I go down to uh, record sound. OK, so what I'll do is I'll press that and then if you do some Marilyn Manson nasty swear words, you can go, this is Nigella, and then you can go, Ella, Ella. <laughs> OK. Oh, it'll please me. OK, it'll please, it'll please me. And oh. it is your phone, after all. All right, all right. This so. is just a ploy. I know, really, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, OK, so we're going now. So this is the ringtone now. OK, here we go. Graham Norton does not smell good. Rihanna does. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> This is Nigella. <laughs> Ella, Ella. <laughs> <laughs> Loving that. Oh. I have a funny feeling I mightn't have recorded any of that. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I suppose play. Can we just take a moment to look at his bulge? <laughs> it looks really good. Thank you very much. Wow. You can suck it later in a non-gay way. <laughs> I'm something so... else. No, I know, right. that's vile, right, vile. Right. Uh, recorded yeah, that's sound. Vile. No, maybe I, I have I'm... recorded it. Can, can someone in the control thingy call this? Okay. <laughs> Graham Norton. 
Martin does not smell good. Rihanna does. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> this is my Jella. Ella. Ella. Oh, well done. Thank you very much. I'm busy. Uh, that's our cool guy. One more time for our lovely guest. Rihanna. Batman. Chris. A double awesome. What's that again? Alexia. Very good. If you want to go back, we'll, we'll make sure that gets to you. Okay, there you go. <laughs>